Hi, everybody. Father Bill Holsinger here from St. Anne Catholic Church in Grants Pass, Oregon, and I am very excited. So, like, on Christmas, don't you, like, get excited about presents and other kinds of things like that? Well, what about Easter? And, well, for us priests at Easter, there's an amazing gift that's given to us. Of course, it's Christ's, you know, uh, resurrection from de the dead. But before the celebration of all of that, we then get a special little thing delivered to us. And let's take a look and see what it is. Look at that. What is it? It's four foot tall. And uh, I pick it up. It says, take a look. It says Cathedral Candle Company from New York. It's a candle. In fact, take a look over here. Let's see what kind of candle it says here. It's called the Way of the Cross. And it's three inches in diameter by four. Four feet tall. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. So, I got my stuff here. And before I ever get involved in these, I sometimes hurt myself trying to open these things. I'm not sure because I get so excited or just I'm really lame at trying to open these things because you notice it's not just taped. It's also got staples. So, gotta get the old gloves on, right? So let's put the gloves on. And uh, Sam was doing the camera work. Sam, are you are certified in CPR, I think, right? <laughs> so if I have a heart attack, so I'm so excited, then you'll help me out, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna first cut with the old uh, children. Don't play with knives. Okay, here we go. Open it up here. Maybe I'll have to do both. I'll do both. Shall I do both? Okay, I do think both. so. All right. There it is. This is. Product in this carton is adequately packed. Uh, I've seen these before, it's more than adequately packed. But I can't open it up still because it's got all this going on here. So let's see. Um, scalpel. Forceps. Oh, yeah, there we go. One at a time. We're gonna pull these out. One down. Remember where you parked. Okay, here we go. Another one. Isn't this exciting? I'm excited. Did you catch that? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, not every year do parishes get uh, new Paschal candles, but we're blessed to be able to do that. And so, we get to choose a new one. And this year, Sandra, our camera person, chose this one. So, let's just see if it's as good as we think it might be. I had to look it up on the internet because I forgot completely what it's going to look like. And I went, oh my goodness, it's pretty awesome. So here we go. So we're halfway there. Should we just stop? No, no. let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, here we go. All right. Grab and pull. Oh, it's getting loose now. Grab and pull. Usually I try, I'm so excited, I just, I don't know. I break the box, break the skin. This year I'm finally here, look at all the, here's the, here's all the, the remnants of the unboxing there. How many people do unboxing of Easter candles? When do you, when have you seen that? Nobody gets to see this. This is the coolest thing. So here we go. It says, handle with care. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here. No, there's no. Another, another box. Remember, it's just adequately packed, so. Let's do this again, everybody. There's some uh, some wrapping here, it's interesting. What they do is they put the candle in here and they put foam in it, so it just kind of hugs the candle. So, there you go. There's that. You know, I bought these um, gloves at the, at the, what was it, uh, Harbor Freight, and I kind of like the yellow, but then I thought, those are the duck colors, right? And I'm a beaver fan. I like the ducks. Well, that's okay. All right. We, you know, when you get excited, you just talk. I do. I'm an extrovert. All right. Oh, exciting, exciting. Yeah. Did they do this on purpose just to make us freak out before we get our cans out? Okay. Okay. There. That's enough. Let's see. Are you getting this camera person? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know which way is up actually, but let's see what happens. And there it is. 
Or maybe come around this other side. So you can see it right side up. So here's the foam I was telling you about. Injection plastic. And we're getting the first kind of look at it. Oh, interesting. So before we open that, there's also this thing. These always come with it. Oh, interesting. Let's see here. These are supposed to be symbols of the nails on uh, when Christ was crucified on his hands and his feet and his side. And uh, huh. they look really small, very unusual. So, you know, I'm going to pull those out, hopefully. There. So exciting. Ugh. I put those aside. Those are strangely small. It makes me wonder, did we get the right ones? I mean, take a look at this. Here we go. Let's just go a little closer. Can you see that? Those are supposed to be nails. They don't look like nails to me in there. They're not made out of wax. Well, we'll figure it out. So here we go. So we got some more things to Looking forward. Oops, sorry. Get the bonky there. More cutting. In the day and age of the internet. Now I can share my joy because this is like this is like Christmas, but it's Easter for us priests when we get the Paschal candle. The Paschal comes from Pasch, which is the Passover of Moses out of uh, Egypt. And of course, then Jesus becomes himself the Passover. And we celebrate what's called the Paschal Mystery, where he suffered, dies, and rises again. And so we use these candles at, at, at the baptisms and during the Easter season. We'll put a big candle out, this candle, during funerals. And I'm pretty stoked to get this opened up. And they have different things. Every year we get a little different one. And some have been more beautiful than others, but I think this one's going to be a winner because... Sandra chose it. She's got good taste. All right. Don't you? I hope so. I hope so, too, <laughs> because this will be a real stinker on the internet otherwise, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Well, be very careful when opening this up, because there's, you can see there's stuff here. You can see there's imprinting. And, uh, oh, we got one more. Sorry, everybody. Just keep your, hold your breath again. There we go. All right. I should have checked my pulse before this. It's going fast now. There it is. Ooh. Take a look at that. Awesome. So this is four foot tall. Let me describe what we're seeing here. This is a little play-by-play. -play. So at the very top, we have an A, and towards the bottom, we have this round thing. Well, these are the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end of the Greek alphabet. So Christ himself, he's called the alpha and the omega. As we start looking through this, then we have a big cross, interesting design here. But in between them are the stations of the cross. So let's see here. It looks like he's uh, taking his cross, he falls, he meets the women or Mary, and then it looks like maybe this is where the cloth is placed on his face. He falls again. Oh, no, here's where the, I think they, they have the, the uh, uh, cloth that is placed on his face. Of course, that's, um, you know the name of that person? The woman, she walks up and she puts an image, she places on his face and an image appears. Veronica is her name. And the word comes from veritas, which means in Latin, truth, and icon, which is an image. So it's a true image of Christ. Veronica is her name. He falls. There he is. He's being crucified. He dies. He's laid into the tomb. And we have the year of this, this year, the 2020. So Alpha and Omega and the Stations of the Cross. Let's pick this whole thing up. You get a sense of how big it is. Now, in our case here, so then this is going into a stand. The stand is about this tall, so it actually is going to be about this tall. And in this room, if you look at very top, you're kind of close to the ceiling. In the church, is no big deal. But in our day chapel, here's what's going to happen. This is our current plan because we're going to be celebrating this year because of the coronavirus. The um, Easter celebrations 
will be done with uh, the beginning of lighting this candle, but it's too tall for our day chapel. It might actually hit the flame, might even be able to get to the, the, root, the ceiling of the, the chapel. So we're gonna take last year's uh, candle and we've cut it down to size, not probably about a third of this size, or two thirds of this size, and we'll take the light from here, a taper, and then light the other one in our day chapel so it matches. But this will then go into our main church uh, here and it goes where the baptismal font is because then we uh, then use this at the actual baptism. At the baptism, we after we bless this uh, and lit it, we take this, the deacon will process with this candle and I get it and then I dip it into the baptismal font into the waters to bless the font itself. It's part of the ritual. It's pretty cool. And the deacon, deacons have got the difficult job here because they have to hold this for a long time. And this is, um, I don't know, it's probably 10 pounds or so, yeah, about that, of a candle. So how many of you have a candle this big? Nobody has a candle this big. But we do, and many churches this year get candles very much, very much this size. Different styles with some of the basic ideas. So when we bless this, we talk about, we get one of these styluses, they call them, or the, like the nails. And we bless it with the Alpha and Omega. All time belongs to him. All seasons, all days, all years. And we touch the different uh, numbers during this. And then we put in these little uh, marks of the crucifixion on the cross or around the cross. And that's probably why, well, let's see here. These are so small is they probably need to be put somewhere on the cross here which we haven't yet figured out. But that's that's it, folks. That's our unboxing. This is the Easter candle for here at St. Anne in, in Grants Pass. And you might check it out when you get to go to your church when they open up and or during their Easter vigil, if they have their Easter candle, take a look at this. See if it has these features of a cross, the Alpha and Omega, the year. And what other kind of stuff is in it? What's the theme of it? So this is the theme called The Way of the Cross. I'm Father Bill Holsinger for St. Anne Catholic Church. And God bless you all, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.